It's the most important life skill in the water and Jesus was capable of it. Today, we learn how to tread water. As mentioned prior, this is the most valuable life skill for anyone who will ever enter the water, whether it be by mistake or on purpose. As well as being an incomprehensibly important life skill, treading water will also lead into other water sports, such as water polo and synchronized swimming. The people that can tread water the easiest are those that already have a screw kick when they swim front crawl. This is because they already perform an egg beater kick regularly. If you have been on a swimming teaching course before, you would have been told that you can use any type of kick to tread water as long as the head is above the water. Whilst this is true, the most effective kick to tread water is the egg beater kick. This is a variation on the breaststroke kick. For the egg beater kick, you will start with your knees high. You should look like you're sat in a chair with your back flat and upright. Once here, turn one knee out slightly, then turn your foot and your toes out so you make half a W shape with your leg. To finish one kick, flick and push your foot round a wide circular motion to get your foot back to the starting point. Ensure that your leg stays wide through this kick so that you have more surface area available to help keep yourself afloat. Just before one leg finishes the kick, you start your other leg with the same motion. You want to aim for an alternating leg kick. Although with a strong and fast enough kick, you should be able to keep your body afloat without any other help. If you are stranded in a lake or the sea, you will want to expel as little energy as possible. So to help your legs out, we use our hands and our forearms. We do this by sculling. To start, have your hands flat in front of your chest with your arms slightly bent. Palms are going to be facing down. Then you are going to make the infinity symbol. If you don't know what this is, it's just an eight on its side. So start by having your hands perform an out sweep to about in line with your elbow. Make sure that your hands turn slightly in the direction that you are moving them. This is so that you catch the water and push it down so that you can stay afloat. Then to finish the skull in motion, both hands will in sweep so that they go back to the starting position. Again, your hands need to pitch towards the direction that you are moving them. Teaching the egg beater kick is a difficult task as you have to get the pupil to perform an obscure movement with their leg and to also perform an alternating kick with that movement. So to start, get the pupil to sit on the poolside with their knees bent and their feet against the wall. Now get them to open one leg up so that their knee is against the wall with the foot still underneath the knee. The foot will then have to stretch the leg out by sliding up the wall. The final part of the kick is to flick your foot and leg round to the starting point. Practice with the other leg and once you or they have mastered the motion, then try to alternate your legs so that when one is flicking back round, the next one starts. Once you or they have got the hang of this on the side of the pool, then it's time to walk on water. Well, tread on water. When in the water without support, it is obviously much harder to perform the motion slowly so that you get the technique right. So, depending on the ability of the swimmer, they will need different types of supports. For stage ones and stage twos, it is best to give them a woggle to sit on. This is so that they don't have to concentrate on holding on to anything. For stage threes upwards, get them to hold on to two pool boys, one in each hand with their arms at a right angle. Finally, with adults, get them to place two hands on a kickboard. They will need a kickboard because obviously adults are heavier, so they will need more buoyancy. Where the kickboard has a bigger surface area, it will give them the buoyancy needed. When you feel comfortable with the leg kick, take the aid away. When doing this with lower stages, ensure that you are there to catch them if need be. In order to teach the sculling motion, you can just do some sculling. The only two types of sculling that you need to perform are sculling on the spot and sculling head first on your back. For these, lay on your back with your legs together and still. If you are going head first, then have your palms of your hands facing your feet. If executing a stationary skull, then have the palms of your hands facing the floor instead. As mentioned before, the skull in action is in the shape of the infinity sign. If you have got younger children, you can just tell them to give the pool floor a big wave. As with the egg beater kick, 
you can just use the skull in motion to keep your head above the water. Use this if your legs start to tire. Alternative methods can be used to tread water. However, these don't keep you as stable in the water as the egg beater kick will. Front crawl kick. This one is how most people try to tread water. The reason why front crawl kick is harder to tread water with is because you don't have as much surface area as you do the kick. Where your body is in a straight line, you will automatically start to sink, so you will be fighting a losing battle when it comes to kicking. This in turn will cause you to expel more energy than you would like to in order to try and keep your head out of the water. This will finally end up with you starting to sink gradually, as your legs will start to tire and you won't have that surface area in order to keep your body afloat efficiently. Breaststroke kick. This is for those that have attempted the egg beater kick before but haven't quite got the knack of it yet. Breaststroke kick is a much better kick to perform than front crawl kick as it means that you still have that surface area required. However, where your kick isn't alternating, you will start to bob up and down due to having power, then having no power. This way, you run the risk of occasionally swallowing water. Also, for both of these, if you need to grab the attention of a nearby passer, you won't be able to wave at them because as soon as you bring your hands out of the water, you will start to sink. Yay, we can now survive in the water. But on a serious note, all children and adults need to learn this essential life skill. You'll never know when it's needed. So get yourself down to your nearest swimming pool and practice these fundamental skills. If you would like to learn techniques in other fundamental skills in swimming, then click this link for the latest video upload. Remember, if you want to keep up with the latest content from the channel, then hover that cursor over our logo and get ready to make the best decision of your life and click. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave me some comments so I can interact with you guys. See you in the next one and have an amazing day.